In this exercise, we will complete and then review the pagination in a process activity. We have just one small bit of configuration to do, and the majority of the activity will be to simply review the process. This process accesses a NASA Open Research API and demonstrates using pagination to control retrieval of documents. Each document describes a page of data containing 20 near-Earth objects. So let's jump into the platform. And our first steps will be to simply create a 5-integration-patterns-2 folder, and within that, an API pagination folder. The next step will be to browse the process library. You can filter on ARC3 and find the pagination NASA NEO API. Install this process and select the folder that we just created. And then click View Process. Step three mentions that you will need your own API key and you will have to go to the nasa.gov website in order to sign up and then retrieve a personal API key. And that's done very simply by entering your first name, last name, and e email, and you will be immediately given an API key. So let's take a few minutes to review this process. It begins with a no data start shape and immediately sets a couple of variables for page number and page limit. So page number is initially set to zero and the page limit is in initially set to nine. So we will be retrieving zero through nine, 10 pages in this process. In the start of loop set property shape, you can click here to enter your own API key. Click OK and save. Next, what you'll see is we have this HTTP client shape, and this is our connection to the NASA API. You'll see that the initial connection is very simple. You simply need to provide the URL. And it's in our operation where we can see that we have some specific variables set. So the page number is a variable that will be coming in that we just defined. And the size will be 20 to a page. And the API key is the variable that we just defined. So in the parameters here, we're providing the page number to retrieve and the API key that we just set. Those documents are returned. And the next step is to set a dynamic document property named all key with a static value of all. All key will be used to index every document in the cache to allow retrieval of all documents from the cache at the end. And the next step is to test to see if we have exceeded the page limit. So this decision shape will be checking if the total pages is greater than the page limit. If it's true, then we set the dynamic document property of total pages to the page limit and then continue processing. And if it's false, we simply continue processing. This document cache shape will just add the document retrieved from the API into the cache. And then the next decision shape is asking, should we process more pages? So this decision shape checks if the document property of total pages is greater than the page number returned from the JSON profile. So if this is true, if the total pages is still greater than the page returned from the API, then we want to put that current page number into the dynamic document property of whatever was returned, increment it by one, and then start this loop all over again. The next time it comes through, it would increment again for each time through the loop up through nine. Once it hits the limit, it will evaluate as false and then all documents will be processed in the document cache shape. So let's give this a test run to see what it looks like. And once it's completed, you can see that this final document cache shape and the stop shape have lit up green. 
And if you click on the document cache load, you will see that there are 10 pages that are loaded into the document cache. And then finally, once this process is finished, the document cache read is able to process those documents for any kind of further processing. So let's just take a look at this first page that's returned to us. And it won't be able to download the entire thing in document viewer, so I can download the original document. Open it up in notepad. I can copy everything there. Paste it into this JSON reader. And at the very top, you can see that this is page number zero. So this is our first page that's returning the 20 near earth objects for us. And that's the end of that activity, being able to use pagination within an API.